Welcome back, everybody. So today's episode, we're going to jump straight into a battle. The only thing I want to show you before we start is the mech bay. Um, the trebuchet we did a little bit of work on. And we dropped the two MMLs, uh, a Tenzin that we got the other day, uh, plus the one ton of uh, LRM swarm ammo, the ferrofibrous one in here as well. I also put the uh, fire control system improved in here. Hopefully we get a better chance to hit with these MMLs. Uh, left the regular SRM ammo in. Uh, just in case we want to do damage instead of overheat damage with the risks. Uh, the Swarm is the only LRM ammo that we had available. Uh, well, we got, oh, sorry, uh, ammo here. It was the only LRM ammo we had available, so uh, that's the only L L LRM ammo that we can drop in at the moment. Uh, currently still, uh, if we go to lasers here, the medium heavy and the medium X pulse are still sitting here as well as the medium pulse. I just I don't have the ability to drop these in just yet on anything. Um, we need uh, more ferro, we need more endo steel, we got or some gyros. Gyros are a big thing right now, so if we can find uh, some uh, extra light gyros, we're going to definitely take those today. But we're going to go right to the command center now, and let's have a look down here. We've got letter of mark, we've got noisy neighbors, and cease and desist, which is a destroy base in the jungle. Um, this one is against Comstar, which we don't want to do just yet. We're going to take, I think, Letter of Mark today, just to see how we do in a uh, battle in the urban environment uh, against local brigands, just to see what they've got. So we're going to do a negotiation. We're going to go for full salvage. Hopefully we can get some good stuff out of this uh, and the Standard Lance. Um, I'm going to go with the... Here we go. Medium laser version of the Locust. And we're going to run this. Yeah, we'll see if we can, how well we can do on this. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Of course, always reinforcements. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Um, Peaceful architecture. Where are they here? We don't even know where they are. Okay, so let's play this cautiously at first. What do we got on our side here? A Drillson, Anubis, Striker Light, LRM. So he's going to be firing Thunder ammo. ER Smalls, a couple of risks with LRM, Artemis ammo. LRM 10, large laser. And who's the last guy here? Gladiator. Snubnose PPC, 2ER mediums, MML5. Artemis ammo, LRM. Okay, so we better be careful these guys don't shoot us in the back. So the last time we fought here, there was guys straight up ahead, and the reinforcements came in from this side. So let's move up. We got the speed. Let's get over here. I'm your spaniel. I am the wind. Yeah, we're going to use that side, I think. If they play the same way, if the enemy is in the same locations as last time, I definitely want to be over here behind some buildings. As long as my guys aren't shooting me in the back, I'm good. But I'm definitely interested to see um, how this mech plays out here. Let's switch these. Uh, let's just leave them. I'm interested to see how these MML 10s work better over the SRMs. I know they got a jam chance, but if we can front load some damage, we'll do that. The range increase on its own is definitely worth it. We definitely have enough overheating potential now. Okay, we got guys on this side. Gun technical. Okay, he's got like no armor. What can I do for you? Can you find us a target somewhere? It's tricky. I don't want you to move in too close. There we go. What 
we got here? A Bessie Wolverine. Okay, that's not bad. Urban Mech. Let's fire on this guy. One hit. Nice. Take that. Crazy as this, as this looks. Got to get on in on this guy if we can. And firing. firing all nice. Okay, here's the other guy back here. Looks like another Irby. A oh, wasp. So one and a half skulls. This isn't that bad. I think we got the lower end of the mission. What do you need? It could be because um, we came in here light. They may have taken pity on us. Who knows? Okay, so LRM Swarm is it is out. Come on. Oh, it's over here. Oh, that makes sense. Um. Not use that. That would be bad. Okay, I'm on it. A little close for that. Oh, 75 heat. That's crazy. But I guess it's because he's standing in fire now. That's the gun technical. Wonder what else is over here. What were you shooting? Bessie X, huh? Here's our gladiator. Just don't hit me, man. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, I've taken five points. Bessie X, eh? Ballistic and two energy? You know, I'd even take the missile version of the urban mech if we could get it. Over a locust. Uh, yeah. Good chances to hit. Let's take the Griffin. Let's go with some armor penetrating. I'm gonna leave the rockets off and the barrage off. Switch this to, to incendiary. Let's see if we can shut them down. All right, firing. Three heat, huh? Just three, huh? Well, he's toasty enough. All right, 10 points, take that. All right, what do we got going on here? Anubis not doing anything. I hear Who is that that moved? We're going to need some evasion and some defense here. Going turbo. Not the best way to do this, but we are going to get on this guy. Firing. Firing. Okay, one hit. Nice. Oof, still gonna shoot, huh? Ready for order. Let's just go to a position where we're not gonna shoot our own guys and let's just overheat this guy. 
Oh, toasty. Look at this thing. You're going to melt down, my friend. You are going to melt down. I love how it's all blurry too, like you can't even see the like the outlines or anything. You're going to melt. Hmm. Get into here. The reason why I'm not going against this guy is he's already overheated. We're gonna make him even more toasty with the with the uh, trebuchet. We want to get rid of this guy. Let's throw up some dead fire on this guy. Leave the barrage off because we'll hit our own guys and firing. Looks like both medium lasers hit. That's nice. Pegasus scout tank with, with MGs. We're gonna multi-target this. Come on. Oh, he's got stealth. Oh, he's got stealth. Well, that makes that attack easy then. Um, let's go with Inferno and try and shut him down. Of course, it warmed up us up us up at the same time. Oh, no, we're just on the outside here. Nice. Pretty damn toasty. What's that wasp doing? Nothing? A whole lot of nothing, it looks like. So we've only seen two guys on this side. The gun technical and the SR or the uh, Pegasus somewhere in there. Thirty five damage. There's the Pegasus there. They hopefully shouldn't last too long. Oh there he is. Oof. He's unstable though, maybe we can knock his ass over. It's hard to tell if we're actually hitting the vehicle. They're hitting buildings, not the vehicle. Okay. Get on this side, shoot him in the arm again. And firing. Another hit, beautiful. Unsteady. Ah, yes. He will be a victim to the Sabo. Oof, barely enough hit. Flames on the way, but let's get in the water and cool off. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Let's stay out of the heat. Back our asteroid up. This guy's nice and toasty, so I think we're going to shoot at this guy. The barrage going. Uh, and I'm going to switch from heat because he's not going to respond well to heat. Which one's better? LRM? No. SRM. Standard SRM's firing. I'm taking the shot. I'm 
Not that heat. Not that much heat. Can't be that much heat. That's right, just shoot through your own building to get to him. This guy's shut down, though. Yeah, make him unstable. We're going to put his asteroid in the ground this turn. Is this guy shut down? Pretty badly damaged, though. You're going to jump again? He's got an LRM-20? Hot loaded. Now, we took damage on that, but I don't really see from where. A little bit in the front. Not much. Barrage is down. Both risks are down. Eh. I love how it doesn't... Oh, you killed him for me. I love how it didn't tell me what all my weapons were. It's like energy and two medium lasers. Like, it's my mech. I should know what they are. It's like, sorry, dude. Okay. Just blow that building up and get it out of the way. That way you guys can see him a little better. Forget about all the people that are in it. They're of no consequence. Okay, he's not doing anything. Okay, let's get rid of this urban mech. I want my backside clear here. Let's fire on this guy. Good chances to hit. Uh, I don't think it matters which ammo we use. It's both the same. Uh, leaving the barrage off. Let's just fire this. Okay, there goes his shoulder. Okay, his LRM's gone. Should be able to finish him next turn. Yeah, probably. What can I do for you? Can't see him, huh? Can from here. Out. Beautiful chances to hit. Oof, only one. Got the torso though. There's, more where that came There's the from. knockdown. And the removal. Got lucky there. I was going to say we're just going to leave him for uh, for witness to finish up, but he's gone now, so I don't have to worry about it. Moving to position. Okay, beautiful. Keep him toasty. Who's this guy? Commando. Alright. I think we probably could have handled this just with us. I don't think we needed to have a uh, secondary lance. Although they are keeping those other guys busy. Mech's on fire! Mech's gonna be dead in a minute. Where are you off to? Worried about the heating situation in this mech, but it's not so bad. Confirmed. Oof, terrible. With those risks, like jamming, like they do, it's like one last thing I got to worry about. Oh, that's nice. 
I don't think this guy moved, that's why. Firing. Ooh, we took his head off. We took his head clean off. Why would you... I just had a thought. Why would you take a cattle master and put a stealth system on it? Like, honestly. That's got to be one of the most redneck things I could think of to do. Not that I got nothing against rednecks, but it just sounds like a redneck thing to do. I hear you. I'm going to put a stealth system on my... On my I'm in the big leagues now. Systems recycling for another shot. Cattle Master X. I wonder if it's compatible with the regular Cattle Masters. Commander? Wouldn't that be interesting, eh? Having a stealth Cattle Master as one of our mechs. Wow, that's a lot of heat. Alright, we got him with a little we got him with a little bit of heat. Little bit of heat. Never never killed never 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 killed anybody. We're gonna start rotating back to the left here though. Gonna bring the trebuchet into here. Fire on him. Keep moving towards these guys. That is if he isn't dead by that point. Let's not get right behind that guy. We're only going to fire if we've got a good shot. That's not a good shot. Let's just not. we got two guys in our line of sight. We know how that plays out. We know how that plays out. Alright, Arclight. We don't have anything on the other side we need to use Inferno on, so let's just go this route. Scored a critical hit. He is dropping a load in his pants. On my way. God, the risk chance. It's like 15%, but why is it like almost every turn? I wonder if it's 15% per round fired. It seems like it's we're hitting that fifteen percent every time. I don't know of any other way to mitigate that. Just trying to cool off. I wonder if we can get an ammo explosion on that guy. Okay, who's firing the rifle? It's not the commando, is it? Ooh, finally doing some damage. Was it the gun technical, maybe? This guy's all yours. Where we can get him to bail out. Oh, he ejected. Beautiful. He ejected. Alright, let's head this way. I'm here. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, MMLs are back. I'll take five. Yeah, you don't do anything. You just stand there. Don't want to help out or anything. Conserve your ammo, you know, even though you don't have any. Oh, you do, I think. You think he's got an LRM or something in there.
These fountains are freaky. I know it's the atmosphere color and stuff, but they should really make them blue to differentiate between that and the fire. It's a little misleading. Yeah, we're going to take our time. Just going to take our time. Let's switch the standard in case we get a chance to get a shot off. Oh, here we go. Looks like an urban mech back there. Yeah. Sixty L. Is that the AC twenty version or is that a rifle version? I can't remember. What can I do for you? Just be careful, witness. Go with turbo. So XL gyros would be nice out of this. Although I don't think there's anything with an XL gyro in it here. And um, ECMs would be nice. And uh, the Locust doesn't have either Ferro or Endosteel, so those would be nice too. Um, sure. Sure. Cool off on the way. Oh, we're finding an LRM range. Full See if we can put this guy out of commission. Ah, two hits, nice. Hit the crew compartment. And destroyed him. See, that's how you do it, right? Like, you just have to know where the crew is, shoot them first. That's how it goes. I meant to do that, just in case you were wondering. Ooh. See ya. Aye, aye. You are on urban mech patrol. Need to get you some LRM, LRM or, or probably SRM dead fire if we can find it. Switch out the regular SRM ammo for SRM dead fire. I think that would be a nice balance. And then for LRMs, I don't know. Uh, you don't want to be up there. Ooh. Yeah, he's got an AC-20. Take the building down. Take that building down. Waiting for orders. Right, Commander. And then get behind this building. Can't have him shooting us. Get up here. We're in dead fire range. Let's shoot the building. Which I can't do for some reason. Alright, we'll shoot this guy. Hit the building at the same time. Yeah, you just stay over there. No need to engage at all. We should be in range with our fires on. So once he comes into range... Oh, that's that asshole, eh? Standing by. Let's fire a maneuver. I'm gonna switch to regular SRM for ammo for this guy and try and kill him. I won't be a kill, but we'll damage him pretty badly. I take that back. Maybe we will kill him. Target destroyed. Okay, come on, get out of the way. Get behind the building. We target the building. Probably because we can't see it, that's why. Let's go crazy and see what we get. All weapons committed. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's uh, so satisfying. If y'all were wondering how to nuke an Airbnb, <laughs> standing on a building with a Talos, there you go. You're welcome. All right, we took a little bit of damage. Not much. Let's see what we got here. XP's not bad at 990. There's five Bessie parts. Because he punched out. Oh, man. There's the Urbamech LRM. But, let's have a look down here. Light rifle... How much damage is it? This 30 damage, right? What else do we got? Medium light machine guns. Yeah, I don't know. See, the range is better than the regular machine guns, marginally, but only marginally. Um, Artemis. Not a lot, eh? We really shredded these guys. Retractable blade. One ton. Yeah. Stealth Axe, we've already got one of these guys. AC5 ammo. SRM Artemis. Streak ammo. Do we... Was there an Artemis fire control system? There was. I mean, we could put this in the um, trebuchet. God, there's nothing here. And switch out the standard ammo with this. That'll help out a little bit. That'll really help out a little bit, I think. Yeah, once again, the Treb's getting its attention to it, but the rest of the mechs are staying the same. I and mean, we could go with an AC-5. How much does this thing weigh? Eight tons, though. I've got a medium rifle. It's five tons right now on the... Uh, the Talos. We could take the regular AC-5 and replace it, but then I have to lose three tons of something or other. Maybe we could drop the L I guess we could drop the LRM, but even then, I think we're better off of what we have. Yeah. Let's go this route. Okay, Bessie and Urban Mech part. Periphery rifle. Big deal. SRM-6 is a backup. Oh, God. Nothing. All right. Well, you know what? That was supposed to be a reduced strength lance because it was a letter of mark, right? So they're supposed to be better pilots with reduced strength mechs. So the next time we take the mission, it'll be... Um, where is it here? Noisy neighbors. We'll see how we do with this one. Um, local government again. Battle in urban zone. So we might do better here, and then we can do cease and desist, I think. I think that's what we'll do. But uh, for now, I'm going to end this episode here, get the mechs back into play, get the trebuchet updated again, which shouldn't take too long, uh, and get some more accuracy going on it, and then we'll take some more missions, all right? So I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.